Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this one, this will be only a build video. If you missed the previous video which showcases this base I'm building currently, you can check my channel for the previous video I uploaded yesterday. And this is basically the build for the Bermuda base. This base is mostly made of triangles as you see. And you have like small basement where you can work with and you have some tricks in it so let's check it out this is basically here the main build is going to look like this at the start this is going to be your entrance it's going to be the entrance to the base and going upstairs this triangle here if this is placed wrong this should be basically a half wall with a square instead and then the triangle is up otherwise you won't be able to do the honeycombing outside like i'm going to show you in a bit So now once you're done with all these steps, you can close it down and keep in mind, you can build a starter base, the, the inner triangle first, start it off as starter base, then build this part. Now here I'm making sure I have my airlocks on. Then I'm going to be using half holes for the inside because this is where the shelves are going to be made. In this, in this spot there you can use shelves or like lockers or whatever you like, it's, uh, it's your choice. And by the way, don't ask why I have the camera on, I don't know. I recorded this, I'm narrating it currently, I'm gonna go through most of the steps with you. So basically here I'm putting the small chest downstairs and this research table which will peek out of the top so you'll be able to access it and you close it down for extra layer of protection. Then you can add your furnaces and then you can move around access the small chest. These will be mainly the ore chests and then you cook with the furnaces. These chests are kind of the most protected ones for later, for later use. Because we're gonna have level 3 bench here. This base, as I said in the preview video, is made for a group of 3, tops 4. I don't encourage uh, bigger groups, and this is like the loot room design I made. I guess there is other ways to add the chest. I don't actually explore much, so if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section. Using garage doors in this, in this base will help you move easier as they won't block your way and you can close them at the end. Or well, it's not a necessity. This is gonna be the way up. You're gonna hatch it this wooden part here. Or for me, I can just like remove it because I'm on the building server. Add the furnace, remove it, and this is the way up. So once you're done with the with this part of the base, you gotta start honeycombing it. You don't want it to be one wall and people will get in your loot. So you're gonna add the triangles and the squares as you see. This is gonna be entrance. You can add that box to drop off quick, jump on it. And this is the extra layer of honeycomb I like. This is why we add the half wall before adding foundation here i went off to add the tower so you can see how to build the tower from the bottom up and this is going to be the elevator basically this is the part of the base where you go up and down all the way it's kind of in the center but not in the center so that's cool if you're getting online rated it's not easy to stop you from moving around the, in the base and if they follow that it's gonna be hard for them to know where exactly to go it's gonna be the bedroom in case you can't fit the bed because of the stone wall you can make it into a metal wall then you'll have a little bit more space to add this, these beds here 
here you're gonna add your level two workbench, then your your chests and uh, drop boxes, as you saw in the previous video. Now, if you have a problem with adding stuff, it's mainly because of the garage doors. There's some kind of a glitch where they pop through the, the floor. So you can't add the chests, you just need to remove them. Here I'm adding more chests for later use. You can add this chest, but it's ridiculous, it's stupid, I think. Add turret and a small one, and this should be like good space. Keep in mind, these doors airlock. So if you're getting online raided, right, they can get to you easily if you open the doors. And you want to keep your bedroom and your loot room safe. And here we're going to start by building the roof. The double doorways lead to the automated defense system. Single doorways lead to the balconies. And these are the towers where the turrets are going to be. This is the honeycomb. To add the half walls here, it's easier always to add a roof, add the half walls, then remove the roof. Otherwise it will be hard to stick. This extra layer here doesn't help much, so we're better off keeping it closed like that. Just the towers basically, and now we're gonna do the balconies. See I'm adding triangles and completing the honeycomb. One of the loot rooms you can have on the top and you can add the turret in there you can add like loot boxes sleeping bags whatever you want another loot room as you can see the boxes you need to lock these boxes otherwise you can get your loot and when these boxes are locked people have to destroy them and when they get destroyed the loot uh, the loot baggy thing spawns on the inside and here you want to add bags on the roof so you have access all over your base and probably call them roof garage doors are gonna be annoying as fuck for raiders as long as you close them when you go offline and keep them open when you're online for this room i removed the chests because i was thinking that if you add a turret here and the turret on the other side it will be a pain in the F for, for somebody. Plus, they would think that this is the way down. So, it's a matter of preference what you want, but I think it's better to add the turrets. But don't do this turret. This turret is uh, <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Just remove one of the chests and add the turret backwards. So, they think this is the way down. They blow it and then they have to fight the turret. It will delay them. They will get counter raided. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be closing everything after I added the walls and you got to add the doors. These doors keep in mind the airlock. So if you die on the balcony and there's someone there, you can't just run in if you have the door open, which is always a plus.
for the windows you would want to add window bars i don't think it's that much important but it's a pain in the ass for people to come in so just add them rating wise it doesn't make much difference but if somebody want to like climb in and shit that, that would be annoying and speaking of annoying this is this is something you could add which will be cancer for someone rating from the roof because they will only be able to blow into one triangle well it's not, not an assist because they're just getting in the roof this is the part where you can add as layers later on but as you can see here it will block your view and it will look bad i don't know about that we can work something out but i prefer to stick with the original design doesn't look fancy it doesn't cost, cost much and if you go for a square thingy you won't be able to see downstairs so it's your call Yo guys, so we're done with the build, but I would suggest something. I didn't show the resources needed and uh, on the right until the end because I want you to do something. This is not an easy build. This is not something you can build like off the spot on the server with somebody shooting arrows at you. So I would suggest that you enter the server I'm using, Intoxicated Gaming Sandbox. I don't know them. I don't know who owns the server. This is not mine. I just use that server. Or you can enter whatever building server you, you want and try it out. You can, while building it, you click middle mouse button. Yeah, I'm showing off my new Razer mouse. <laughs> you click the middle mouse button and you go, you click on this, resources needed. When you click on this, it will show you how much you need. Like, you can do every stage on its own. You can start by the first floor, which is your starter base, then honeycomb it. They go to the second floor with the level 2 workbench, then honeycomb that. Then you can go to the roof and finish all the base. And totally it will cost 63k. But you gotta keep in mind that you, you don't need to use these for example. And each one of those is counted as a full wall, not even a half wall. So these part, this part here is not needed. I just like, like to add this one for like extra protection. Because I don't want someone to just go on my roof and blow one wall down and then I have zero access to my roof, you know. The roof is very important for uh, for defending your base and plus you can increase on this. You can add like another layer here, like you know the triangle thingy here. You can do this make it even tougher add barricades here here on each side on top of those so people can just go up there and plus it looks cool i think like you can add one two and then the third one which is the <laughs> smallest circle uh circle wow triangle so yeah this is the base build don't forget you can always expand on it by honeycombing like i showed you here and adding squares here you won't get access anymore to like looking downwards but we can work something out for that probably you can work for something out improvise make a doorway build another balcony to fight from you know how to build i guess by now if you have any questions anything in particular you need let me know in the comment section i even have my steam link i think so you can Add me on Steam, but well, before you add me, type something in the comment section so I know who you are because I get a lot of scammers adding me. So if you want something, you need any help with Rust related issues or anything else, let me know. I'll make it in a video. I'll probably stream and talk about it. If you want on stream, we can chat together. Uh, so don't, fo don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description or on my channel. So... Uh, I'm gonna go for now i'm gonna be live streaming some rust as soon as i get a good internet upload because right now my internet upload is one megabyte only so i can't stream sorry for everyone and i'll see you in the next one